Welcome back to the channel everybody. Let's talk about the common 6.7 diesel CCV filter. Now I've actually gutted this filter out probably about a year ago. Uh, and let's see how it looks like inside. We're going to remove the valve cover and take a look. Now I have seen a lot of people, they call it the CCV filter delete. You, technically you cannot delete these filters. They're integral part of this valve cover in here. Uh, or at least the shell of the filter itself is. Um, you can definitely gut them out. And I'll show you how I did that. There is a CCV or, or a ventilation hose that connects to your intake hose on the engine before the turbo. Now, they have aftermarket filters for these. Originally, I just put the hose here and just kind of let it hang. And you can see you do get a few drips of oil out of there every now and then. Not a big deal. Keeps the frame rust free. Anyhow, let's remove this CCV filter out of here and see what it looks like. Fairly easy to do. We're going to remove these 8mm bolts here. Take out the dipstick here. Remove this cover first. And then we'll take off the 8mm bolts holding this filter cover on. And we'll take that off. We have all the eight bolts off of this filter uh, cover here. I have the hose off of here, the ventilation hose. Once you remove the oil cap, you should be able to lift this cover completely out of the way. For now, we'll go ahead and install the oil cap back on there so nothing falls in it. Now, as you can see, mine's been completely got it out there's no filter material in it it's just the casing from the CCV filter it's just the filter material has been gutted out so I've seen some people that completely delete this whole thing out of here and just remove it and put the cover back on so here's our gutted CCV filter this is where your fiber material is supposed to be I've ripped all that out you can usually grab them with pliers and and then scrape off the remaining glue or fiber um, with the razor blade. This is what it should look like. Again, I've gutted this out. CCV filter sits in your valve cover, on your valve cover just like so. And if you look at the underneath, there's a rubber seal here all the way around. And that's what your CCV filter fits onto and seals up so if you were to take that filter completely out and just put the cover on it that probably won't seal well enough to, to stop the oil from seeping through so again you do have to have this tray in here gutted just like this we have our cover back on we will also put a filter on this vent hose instead of leaving it dripping oil onto the frame or on that side by the turbo um, so that's complete with the gutted filter inside of it now those of you that are deleted like mine here and still want this front cover on it what I've done is I've taken a boot from like a caliper slide and put it over the dipstick tube because since it's been deleted that mount on that side for that cover is no longer there to support it uh, so this will support that one side that boot seems to fit perfect otherwise otherwise it just vibrates around if you don't have that there and it keeps vibrating around the dipstick tube there with that rubber boot on the dipstick tube here this covers held nicely in place and it's not going to vibrate around i'm happy with that so let's get the, the vent hose filter on there and let's get this job done. Now if you remember this hose from the valve cover from here going to the turbo here that will be deleted. We'll end up putting a filter on here. So this is what we have. There's a 90 degree silicone hose to connect to the valve cover and a breather filter. And this will be plugged for the turbo side. 
So we got this breather filter on here and a plug on the turbo side so it plugs that side of the line. Now at this time our CCV filter delete is complete. Thank you for watching. Thank you.